TYT Sports, y'all. Robert Latal, Rick Strom, Jason Tatum is simply fantastic, especially for how young of an age he is. He is a cub in this league. It's crazy. He's 19 it's years old. Nuts, man. Dealing with that, I couldn't handle that. I couldn't handle that. At 19 years old, what was he doing? I'm con- <laughs> they don't want to know. I'm continually amazed mm-hmm. at what this kid does, at the shots that he mm-hmm. creates, as his ability to take guys off the dribble and score on anybody that they throw at him at will. And what I also like about the Celtics is that they are totally unafraid of going at LeBron got when LeBron is yeah, on them. Got to. You don't have to. Well, you got you to. You can move the ball around and try to take I, him out of position. Yeah, you got to. I think when you're young, you're fearless. It's part of the. Well, well, no, no, no. I disagree. I think oh, that you know, actually when you're younger in the NBA and you have somebody like LeBron on mm-hmm. you, you're passive. I don't think you're fearless. Hmm. Depends on the player. But Jalen Brown already set the tone prior to the series tone. saying that he was going to go at him. Go and at now him. we're seeing it with Jason Tatum. Here's what Jason Tatum had to say after the game, post-game presser. Take a look. You know, playing in the, in the big moments, uh, in the big games, I think that's, you know, uh, when I have the most fun, when, you know, when things are on the line. And, you know, a lot of guys stepped up tonight. And... Uh, I mean, I can't say it enough with one win away from going to the finals. All right, so Jason Tatum saying that he gets up for the big moments. Of course. In the playoffs like this. Here's how good he has been. I want you to react to this. I'm reacting. 2020 vision (laughs) is what NBC Sports put at the top. Most 20-point playoff games by a rookie? Jason Tatum is second. You know what's pretty impressive? Mm. Donovan Mitchell Mitchell. is also (laughs) also second. And he had the less amount of games to do it. On top, real quick, real quick. Dwayne Wade is in there. David Robinson, the Admiral, is in there, tied with them. All he needs is one more. And in my opinion, he has two games to do it. On top of that, Jason Tatum becomes the sixth rookie in NBA history to score 300 or more points in a single postseason. First since Jack Sigma. Jack Sigma. Since 1978. With the Bucks. Jack Sigma. Old school. He also played for the Sonics, didn't he? I think so. I he definitely he played for the Bucks. So again, most points by a rookie NBA playoff history. Jason Tatum is on that list. The very next slide, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Alvin Adams, Elgin Baylor, Jason Tatum. My God, those are great names. And he passed Magic, Wilt, Sigma, and George Mikan. Before I go any further, this is an incredible run by a young kid. If he goes to the finals, he's going to pass all of those. Yep. Can you imagine yep. being 19 years old and passing Kareem? He's 49 away. Abdul-Jabbar. Basically, you only need two more games. Well, I don't think he gets it in two. He could. I, I think, I'm I think, saying it's within reach. If he gets to the reach, finals, he, that's at least four more games. So mm-hmm. he's definitely going to get it then. Mm-hmm. But that's just terrible. Well, we, 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 must, we must point out one thing. Please. Uh, there were less games and less series uh, back in the day. Uh, there was, so uh, that makes those marks even more impressive. Impressive yeah. for the Wilt. I mean, not the Wilt. I've always wanted to say Wilt for the Kareem <laughs> Abdul-Jabbar. You love Wilt. And, and, and other ones. But it doesn't, it doesn't take away anything that Jason Tatum no, no. is doing. Just from the fact that this is not even a complete Celtics team. This should be a team with Gordon Hayward. Well, I think when they have the complete Celtics yeah. team, that's when his points per game are going to go down now. Well, there's so I many don't more know. options. I don't know. I, I, He's not going to put up 18 a game I, with Gordon I, I, Hayward, I don't Kyrie know. Irving, I don't, Al Horford, Jalen Brown, People said, Jaylen people, Brown, people said Clay Thompson wasn't going to put up 20 once they got KD. What does Clay Thompson put up? Yeah, 20? but they have three players. The Celtics have five. Yeah, but they don't have a volume shooters like, like, like Steph and, and, and Durant. They have guys. No, no, they, they have volume shooters. They don't have three point volume shooters. I'm just saying they don't have guys that take 20 shots a game. So I'm saying you can spread. I say he's going to be efficient. And probably Again, you have five like, players who need the ball in their hands. They don't, that's the thing, they don't need the ball. That's the thing. They don't all need the ball. They can all share the Gordon ball. Gordon Hayward was a I'll, volume shooter in Utah. Kyrie Irving was a volume shooter this year. Jalen Brown has shown that he's a volume shooter in the playoffs where he was putting up almost 25. He was putting up 25, I almost think he 27 a game. I think you get his points. Because I think at the when you're the Celtics, first of all, I don't think they're all going to be back. I think if, if all of those people are not healthy, next year, but the year after, somebody's gonna have talking. to. Somebody's gonna, you know, there's gonna be some shifting. Mm-hmm. You know, they like to get those draft picks, and we got. So like, you think Danny Ainge is gonna trade one of those players? Not not Tatum, but I do. You know, maybe Rozier. You know, they gotta get a little out of the the gloat. Is that right? Gloat, glutton, glutton, gluten free, glut, gloating, glut, glut gloat. Glut. Have you had gluten free beer? Was it? We got a lot of stuff, and it starts with a G. It's not good. It's all big. It's in a pot. All right. I think Celtics. Bloat. Lucky charm. Bloat. They got to get rid of the bloat. You know, like when you bloat it. Have you ever had, have you ever got I bloated? I wish I could show the look that Craig is giving you right now, because that's exactly how I feel. What are you trying to say? I'm it's just, it's just an empty to... stare of like, what are you talking about? I'm just about, trying to man? explain to you about the bloat and the gloat. 
and the gluten. Can we go back to what you were trying to say before you ran over what? yourself with your own commentary? Point is. Yes, please. You like what I said, so you got to say it. If yeah, you say yeah, it real yeah, strong, yeah, people yeah. won't remember what you said. Point is, they gotta get, they'll probably get rid of some people, but I think Tatum is going to be a type of guy that's your 20, 19, 20, 21 point score, five and five. He has those types of skills. And actually, I'm a little surprised only because Duke guys, yeah, a little <laughs> hit or miss when they come into the league. So I wasn't quite sure. You know who's crying in his milk right now? Fultz. Over in, in, in no, Philly. no, no. Let's go further. Who? The Sixers. No, nah, I mean they they just they they lost. But I mean here's the no, thing. No, no, they they traded to get. They Fultz traded. Oh yeah, so the Sixers. When they could have just had Fultz. Yeah. They didn't have to do anything. They didn't do it. They would have kept their picks mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. So, but they're still so good. That's how you can mess up if you got talent. So yeah, but yeah, but think about this. Yeah. If they reevaluated. Oh, absolutely. Then it would be a completely different story. If you do, what do you do? If you can, you imagine, can you imagine? This is almost a what if clip that yeah. we should do. What if the Celtics didn't make any of those moves, right, and just went with Jason Tatum, right? Or they made the move and went with Jason yeah. Tatum instead or, of Mark Elfold. What about the Lakers? And Lonzo Ball, big baller, brand, LiAngelo, Lamelo, Lavar, BBB. If you're the Lakers, do you still? Love, Why are you big, hyping them up? Big baller friend. You don't like the big baller friend? Don't, you don't like I'm anybody. Different. Why don't you like anybody? I like you. Well, I'm a, I'm a very likable person. Everybody likes me. I come oh, in the man. office and everybody just starts smiling. What was that? Gloating there? Or was that? That's gloating. Was, was, that, was that a bloated compliment ah, to yourself? You, go. Bro, you got it right. You got it started with G. Jason Tatum in the regular season. JT. 14 points per. Yes. So in the postseason. Yeah. Over 18. It's up in his game. How many shots is he? He take? is upping his game. Take it three more. His three shots. point percentage is down, but his field goal percentage is up. His two point percentage, like that, happens in the playoffs. This is a big it's, it's, it doesn't though. Sometimes no, you no, have no. a great regular season and you have a crappy postseason. No, Some but guys I, can't get up. To well, that's what I mean. I'm saying right. that uh, mm-hmm. a lot of times in the postseason you're dealing with you know a series, so people can. The defenders are tougher. Mm-hmm. It's more taxing. Mm-hmm. You don't got scrubs that you're mm-hmm. playing against, like right. you know, every couple of days or so. So just to have an increase under this type of pressure, mm, yes. and, and the East was not bad this year. I mean, going through Milwaukee was tough. They had to go seven. The Sixers have a ton of talent, and now you're going up against LeBron. Mm-hmm. So he should get full credit. Still, Donovan Mitchell, the real rookie of the year. Let us know your thoughts. The real. Comment section below. Subscribe to TYD Sports. It's glutton, the gloating, the bloating. You got you understand what I'm saying?